This video is the answer to one question. The question is express the matrix A 1362816521.45 as the product LU meaning lower and upper of a lower triangular matrix L and an upper triangular matrix U. So this is the format of a lower, any lower a triangle, lower triangular, will have this format, 1, 1, 1, values here and zero 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 and any upper triangular matrix will be like this u11 u12 etc and then it says express the matrix a so this is matrix a as the product first we have to do um, what we call uh, an lu decomposition Okay, but that's part of the method I'll get there in a minute. So the question is express this matrix as a LU, so we will do the, the, the decomposition. And then it says by writing UX equals Y and LY equals B, solve the system of equations. So this is what we usually call using LU decomposition to solve a linear system. There are, for instance, the, the other huge application for the LU decomposition is the, to find the invert of a matrix. I can, later I can do a video about that. But here we are using LU decomposition to solve a linear system. Okay, so um, how can we do that? Well, first um, we are used to a x equals b. That's the um, the other way of solving a, a linear a linear system. Here we have a matrix with the variables, here with the coefficients, and here with the um, independent terms. Well there was a a the system the easiest way, or one of the ways, there are many ways to do this, but we are used, for instance, to finding inverses. We multiply, we left multiply by the inverse here, left multiply by the inverse here, so x will be um, inverse times b, inverse of a, a times b. But here we are going to use a, a total different system. First, we will get matrix A and we will make a, an LU decomposition. LU decomposition. So first we transform a matrix in a product of two triangular matrices. A lower one and an upper one. When this is done, we replace A by LU, so it will be LU X equals B. Okay. Now, um, now what we will do next will be a step that my, might confuse a, a, a linear algebra beginner. We will do a L, Y equals B. 
lower matrix times new variables, so to speak, equals B. And, well, if L times Y equals B, this is our, our step, that's what we are going to do. This is part of the process. We cannot forget that inverse L Y equals inverse B. So this is identity matrix. So this is identity Y equals inverse B. So Y equals inverse B. Okay? This is only me showing you what Y or making Y the subject. Okay? So your first step is to find L Y equals B. Your second step and final step will be to find UX, UX, these variables with the upper matrix equals Y. When you do this, here you will get, when you do this step, you will get the solution. This will be your solution. Let me show you why. Uh, if ux equals y, then um, we can say ux equals y was the inverse times b. Okay, so ux equals the inverse times b. Let us replace this ux here. We are going to replace it by ux equals the inverse times b. So we can replace here inverse times b on ux. Now, here we will get the identity matrix. Identity times b equals b. So identity times b, b equals b. This is a sort of a proof that the, the system works. So, if you have this ax equals b, the problem that was given to us today, that's what you have here. You have A times the variables, AX equals B. Okay? So you will do AX equals B. First step, lower times Y times new variables equals B. And then upper matrix x equals y and you will have the solution solution and you can you can you, you, you can check it okay you can solve this linear system by any other method just this is really simple you can even on the internet you can find everywhere uh, softwares to solve this system and see what you get for x y and z and then check this, uh, this solving the linear system through LU uh, decomposition.